Today we will talk about applications of percents, primarily recognizing what the amount, the base, and the rate are in a percent problem. Now let's denote amount with A, base with B, and rate with R so that we can analyze these problems a little better. One type of problem is they are giving you the rate and they are giving you the base. And you can look at the problem. What is 10% which is the rate of 12 which is the base and they are asking the amount. What is 10% of 12? So we are asked to find the amount. In a second type of problem is 30 is what percent of 40? Now in this problem we have 30 is that is the amount and we have what percent that is the rate and of 40, 40 is the base. So in this problem you don't know the rate but you do know the amount and the base. The third type of problem is 12% of what is 220? In this problem they are giving you the rate of what what is the base is 220 is the amount. Now we reviewed how to recognize these things in the first module but I'll tell you very shortly how this works out. The item that comes after the word of is the base. So if you look at it what is blah blah of 12, 12 is the base. And in the second problem, what percent of 40? 40 is the base. In the third problem, 12 percent of what? What is the base? Now when they say what, that means that you're unknown. So in the third problem, since they said 12 percent of what, so the base is unknown. But they are saying 12 percent, that means they are giving you the rate and 220 they are giving you the amount. Now one challenge is to read the word problem and recognize which one is which. So I'll kind of go um, uh, give you some examples of the same type of problem if you saw this, this word problem instead of what is 10 percent of 12. For example, it might be a markup problem. So they may say, what is the markup on a $12 item if the rate is 10%? That would be the same exact thing as asking what is 10% of 12. Or it may be a commission problem. What is the commission Joe gets on a $12 item? if his rate is 10 percent. Again, we are asking what's 10 percent of 12? Or let's say you're living in a very expensive state. What is the tax on a $12 item if 
the tax rate is 10%. So we're talking about sales tax and it's fairly high. Or it can be an interest problem. What is the interest paid at a rate of 10% on $12. Okay, again, these are all questions that will pretty much can be simplified to be what is 10% of 12. Uh, it doesn't have to be a money problem. We can talk about um, social sciences or statistics or any other type of field. For example, if we are saying what is um, what okay, let's let's word it like this for statistics. Um, how many how many milligrams of acid is in 12 milligrams of solution at 10%. Okay, this is not a stats problem. This is more like a chemistry problem. So if they're asking, what is the percent of some whole number? It will be pretty much formulized as just what is some percent of whatever number. So that will be pretty much the same. It will be solved the same way. Let's go to the next problem. Let's do, for example, commission. 30 is what percent of 40? Uh, that's kind of a high commission, but let's say we have markup. Um, uh, <clears throat> 30 is what percent of 40? Okay, so for example, we can say, um, what is the markup rate? on a $40 item if the markup is $30. What's the markup rate on a $40 item if the markup is $30? So they are giving you the amount and the base or um, again, some kind of um, mixture chemistry percent problem. Um, 30 pounds of coffee beans are what percent? of a bag of 40 pounds. Again, that problem can be simplified as 30 is what percent of 40? Okay, well, let's go to the next problem. Next problem is 12% of what is 220? Again, you can have, for example, a chemistry problem. Um, A solution of 12% has 220 milligram of acid. What is the amount of solution? So we have the part of it and we are asked to find the solution, the base, okay? 
Even though we said the word amount in there, this may be a little dis misleading because we are still looking for the base. All right, so let's do another one. Um, let's say uh, I paid $220 in taxes in a state where the sales tax is 12%. Okay, so I already gave the amount and the rate at that point. So how much? You can say something like how much was the item I bought before taxes. Okay, so let's roll up. So all these problems, problems from finance, from science, from any kinds of fields can be actually formulized using this these rate statements. What's 10% of 12? 30 is what percent of 40? Or 12% of what is 220? Now that you recognize which one is the amount, which one is the rate, which one is the base, you can actually go and solve some of these problems, which are the three problems that I actually talked about. There are two ways of solving these problems. The first one is the translation method. You translate word by word and that is going to be, you have to watch out for the word of, that translates as multiplication, and now you have to enter your percents as decimals, and now you'll be fine. So let's write down what we have. So I have this table. What's 10% of $12? The rate is 10% of $12. 12 is the base. So I'm asked to find the amount. Now I'm going to write down word by word what I see. What is? That means n equals the word is translates as equal. Okay, so what and also what translates as n. So I'm going to do it word by word. What is is n equals 10% and the percent has to go in as a decimal 0.1 of that means times $12. All you have to do is multiply 0.1 by 12 then you're done. The answer is 1.2. So since it's asked in dollars, $1.2. Let's go to the next, um, next problem. 30 ounces is what percent of 40 ounces? Now, 30 ounces is what percent? So that is the amount. And percent, I don't know. 40 ounces is the base. So I'm going to write 30 ounces is, so is is equal, what percent? So in this case, I'll put a note, n is in decimal. What percent of 40? So be careful if you are taking n as a decimal or a percent. You have to be very careful. So to solve for n, all you have to do is divide 30 by 40. When you divide 30, 30 by 40, you'll get 75. And 0.75 is the answer because you just divide it. And that has to translate as 75% when you change your decimal into a percent. Now let's do the last problem. 12% of what amount of money is 220? 
12% is your rate of what amount of money the base you don't know is 220 220 is your amount so let's translate, let's translate it word by word 12% of that means times what amount of money you don't know is equals 220 so to solve for n all you have to do is divide 220 by 0 0.12 And when you do that, you are going to get 1033.3. So since this is a word problem, you can say it's 1033.3 dollars. Now we're going to do the same problem, this time using the proportion method. Let's remember the proportion method. Again, you are going to have to recognize it, but the proportion method is a little bit different. In the proportion method, we are going to use proportions, and n is going to be always in percent. If we are talking about the uh, percents, and it's going to be in percent, let's say 20 percent, n will be 20, not 0.2. So we are going to do the same thing. So on one part of the proportion you're going to have a fraction on, uh, on the left of the equal sign and another fraction on the right of the equal sign. Right of the equal sign I'll put the percent. So it, you're going to have the percent number on top and the hundred at the bottom. On the left you're going to have the amount and in the denominator you're going to have base. Okay, now once we have this, so we can solve these problems. And once you have it in the proportion, you, have, you can crisscross and solve for your unknown. So let's do this problem. What is 10% of $12? 10% is your rate of $12. 12 is your base. N is your amount. So let's plug it in. N divided by 12 is the percent rate which is 10 over 100. You crisscross it you'll get 100 n equals 120. n is 120 divided by 100 which is 1.2 which is what you had before. So let's do the next problem. 30 ounces is what percent of 40 ounces? What percent? That means you don't know N. You're looking for N percent. 30 ounces is what percent of 40 ounces? 40 is your base and 30 is your amount. So let's write it down. The amount over base 30 over 40 equals N you don't know over 100. Crisscross 30 times 100, 3,000 equals 40N. Divide both sides by 40, that will get you the N. So when you go 300 divided by 4, you're going to get 75. And 75 is in percent already. So here's your answer, 75%. Let's do the last problem. 12% of what number of money is, 12% uh, of what amount of money is 220? So I'm given the percent, 12% of what amount of money, that means I don't know the base, I know the amount, 220. So amount over base, amount is 220 over base equals the percent part, percent number, which is 12 over 100. Crisscross, 220 times 100 equals 12n. To solve for n, divide both sides by 12. So you're going to have n equals, when you do the math, you'll get 1033.3. 
But as you see, regardless of the procedure, you'll get the same answer.